hello everybody welcome to another video thank you so much to everyone who has subscribed from the last time when i posted up to now i see there are another maybe 20 people who've subscribed thank you so much um yes and i'll continue at least uh, doing some videos once in a while just to keep on motivating us i hope you are still continuing on this bunting lifestyle um i am definitely still continuing because it's a lifestyle it's not just a diet it's just a, another way that you choose to eat and look at food right yeah so today i just wanted to um do a short 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 video on uh, some of the challenges uh when you are bunting maybe some of the challenges that you will experience and maybe just some suggestions how you can overcome them and maybe how i also overcome some of them right because it's a lifestyle it's not every day that you feel motivated and all that but you know we press forward amen okay <laughs> i said amen like i'm in church okay <laughs> yeah so but anyway uh so i just want to give you four reasons like four four um four challenges right okay so the first one that i want to say is uh so when you actually start I'll be, when i'm looking down it's just i'm looking at my notes so when you start one of the first things that you are going to experience is something which is called carb flu so that one hits you just when you start it can be like a day or two days afterwards so what exactly is carb flu Carb flu is just basically your body now is detoxing from all the carbohydrates and all the toxins that were in your that was in your system, and because of that you will actually feel funny. Uh, the first few days you might maybe feel a bit dizzy or weak or like have a headache and stuff like that, but it's just because your body now is detoxing, right? Um, like for me personally, I had uh, this uh, the first day when I just started doing it. I thought I was going to experience it a bit later because I read about carb flu, but I actually had um, I had a, a bit of a headache, but I mainly felt like lightheaded and like I was forgetting stuff and things like that. And I was wondering what's wrong with me. <laughs> yeah, but actually just the bunting and some people feel like a funny taste in the mouth and stuff like that. So you see, like when all that is going and you will feel all those bad things just imagine if your whole life you are just eating all these things that are not good for you right all the problems that it's actually creating so that is carb flu so if you can overcome carb flu that is the first big step that you have to actually like you know overcome because uh some people just give up after the second day they're like oh my god i'm just feeling bad i'll just give up but you can't give up no you just have to continue except uh if it's if it goes on like for more than i don't know they actually said cup flu should go like within two to five days you should feel fine and then one day you just wake up you are full of energy you feel good inside yeah and then your body now is, is starting to work how it actually should yeah so the number one challenge is just how you feel in the beginning some people don't feel anything but most people do some will even have running tummy so now how, how do you overcome now that or like what should you do now if you're having carb flu one of the things that i've seen with me that has helped especially with being lightheaded and stuff like that is just to take a spoon of uh, a teaspoon of pink salt you put it in water and then you drink and after some time you actually start feeling good and pink salt in water actually helps like for headaches just generally yeah uh, or himalayan salt and then uh the number two challenge is sticking to bunting and cheating <laughs> so cheating basically in bunting is when you eat from the red list you see there are different lists i did video on different lists there's the green list which is there how we should eat and then there is the orange list which is how we must eat sometimes and then after that there is the red list is what we should not eat so when you eat from the red list it's called cheating right cheating 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 and you shouldn't do that but life happens and sometimes you are going to cheat right um sometimes it's beyond your control you can be somewhere where maybe there is really 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 not the food that is bunting like friendly so you do it but sometimes you are just not strong enough you are not able to stick to bunting so now what do you do in those situations so the first thing is um you just really need to have a very strong reason why you are bunting your why must be stronger than your age to just you know give up every week 
start one week and then you give up you know you have to have a good reason why you're actually bunting or why you decided that you are going to eat uh the bunting way you know like for some of us it, we saw the health benefits right so because of that i don't really need anyone to police me i know like this is what i chose and i see the benefits not only uh, like losing weight but i also see um you know health wise my sugar is good uh, my sugar levels and you know i just feel good basically i feel good when i'm eating bunting because it's basically just eating clean food right so your why must be very strong and then um now if you cheat uh it doesn't mean if you cheat once you must just continue cheating it's just like everything else in life if you fail one time you just pick yourself up again so if you see that you cheated maybe you ate bread or i don't know whatever you ate something that you shouldn't be eating so what do you do is your next meal just make it a bunting one right don't continue like for the next five days and what and then you are getting out of ketosis again and stuff like that so just pick yourself up and be like okay my next meal dinner or whatever i'm just going back to bunting right okay and then um number three challenge that most people experience uh especially depending where you are there is this culture of eating out a lot to in restaurants and then um also maybe party your events like what if you are having a work event and things like that like what am i gonna eat okay so the first uh maybe suggestion i would give is before you go to an event eat at home <laughs> so you know just eat your bunting food even i do that sometimes if i'm gonna go to like the mall and do shopping so i make sure that before i go i actually eat yeah i eat i cook my food and I, when i go i'm full uh yeah so it sounds like yeah but yeah that is one of the solutions and then um, the other thing is like you can get to that place and you can look at the menu and just see things that are actually very close to bunting. Um, I know there are some restaurants that are very bunting friendly that you can even ask them like what to use, maybe olive oil to do to cook your meal and stuff like that. So yeah, you do that. And if you do invite, like if it's you who's hosting friends or whatever at a restaurant and what, take them to places that you know, like you will actually be able to get like meals that are like there's vegetables you know you can eat things like grilled meat i mean you know and then you add your salt or whatever and then your your salads and stuff like that so as long as you just know it's a lifestyle this is how i eat right this is how i eat and then you just look and see things that are close to that if it's a family event like i said maybe try to eat before but otherwise have your chicken and have your salad or whatever you know and stuff like that and you just you you follow that okay so that is uh challenge number three it's when eating out or like parties and stuff like that yeah so don't be a party pooper also that like everywhere people invite you are like oh my god i don't eat this i don't eat that you know just look and see like what is in that menu what can you eat right like for me for example um definitely if i go somewhere where there is like pub i don't know how you call pub in your language um that's probably the only time i will not eat um but if i go somewhere and then there is meat there's some veggies i will eat the veggies and the meat you know and i think for now like all my family and most of my friends everyone knows like that's how i eat so nobody complains they just know and some people are so nice my mom is so nice when i go there she will actually cook uh like something that is bunting you know friendly and i'll eat that right okay and then number four it's uh the other challenge is maybe affordability right or budget most people uh think that bunting has to be like super super expensive or they just think oh my god bunting is expensive maybe because when you look maybe in those groups like for example the facebook group you see uh, some of the products that are sold that are bunting friendly are really expensive some yes are but i have a video which i did on budget bunting that you don't have to really like have all these very expensive meals right so the first thing is you don't have to buy all those things that you see that oh this is what just stick to your basics right stick to your basics of bunting which is your vegetables try to buy your vegetables even from markets you know in the market sometimes you'll find it cheaper um shops sometimes if you go like in the afternoon you are most likely to find some things now like a bit on sale or something um and then eat your meats get your 
cooking oil um like get your coconut oil get your wholesome you know that video i actually go in depth of like some of the things really like how i do budget banting uh i don't even see like i'm spending more than i did before like in my case because somehow i'm just fitting into the family budget uh it's just that i don't eat like pap rice and macaroni i do have macaroni that i eat and also there's a video <laughs> there is a bunting um uh, uh, pasta that i actually found like in one of the shops here and i stick to that and i mean like now oats is in the orange list that you have to soak overnight so you for breakfast you can do oats you know you can do oats for breakfast and then for lunch you can have your pumpkin you can have your ve green vegetables uh, you can have lettuce spinach and then you just have your meat or fish or whatever that you just cook the bunting way so don't focus on food that is expensive <laughs> yeah just focus on simple food i even actually believe that if you live in places like villages and stuff i think you those are the best places to actually do bunting because all the food is there all the fresh produce is there other than in town so those are some of the challenges and maybe some of the suggestions uh for you to consider um yeah challenges are there and they are part of life but uh like i said before everything is just about your why why are you doing this like why do you need to lose this weight why do you need to eat healthy what are the benefits that you can get and then you stick to it and you just put it in your mind that this is my lifestyle this is i'm intending to eat this way right and then it becomes just a part of you even your body will actually adapt your body will change uh even the things that you crave for and so forth so thank you so much for watching everyone who's watching from south africa from botswana namibia and all those other countries thank you so much uh let's continue banting and uh, please do share this video comment and just let me know how it's going for you so until next time thank you so much and god bless you bye